Hey, it's Lucky. With all the hype surrounding Starfield, I thought I'd get into the sci-fi mood and make some sci-fi assets for Godot. I've always been interested in sci-fi game art and sci-fi games. Uh, I made a little spaceship demo for the RPG controller and I made the spaceship game for the uh, Android build video. But now with Starfield I wanted to make some first person sci-fi assets. What you're looking at now is the result of 4 days of tinkering and trying to create some sci-fi assets. The whole scene is basically just build up of a 3D tile set, which I'll link below so you can play around with it too. This wasn't the first attempt though to making the sci-fi looking scene, so let me take you on a little trip of where I started, what I learned and how I got here. My first attempt was a huge disaster. I started blocking out this scene in CSG combined notes straight into Godot to get a feel for the layout of the ship and I thought I could just plop in some assets later to make the ship full full but this is actually a very timely process and it's not as efficient as I thought. So I decided to start from scratch. Uh, this time I went visuals first without thinking about layout or gameplay and I just made this tube, it's basically just a space module. It was inspired by the ISS and some uh, concept art I saw of NASA Punk on Pinterest. And although the renders for this build came out beautiful and I think it has a lot of potential, it was also very timely. This one scene took me four to five hours just to put together and it's not even that complex. And the main thing I'm looking for in these tinker sessions uh, is efficiency. So even though the renders were beautiful, this scene was not right for game dev. After this I started looking into what other game asset creators were doing. I browsed CG traders and Unreal Marketplace and found out that the techie style of uh, sci-fi really lends itself well to 3D tile sets. And so I got to work. Uh, I watched this video on one hour of Greeble on the Blender channel. I would recommend it to anybody who uses Blender for 3D modeling. There's a lot of fun little techniques to get sci-fi looking uh, models really quickly. I'll link it below as well. So yeah, I started making the walls and the floors and the panels and creating these custom textures. They're super basic, just black and white images with some grids and a little dirt map on top to break up the surface. Creating tile sets is always so much fun because you create one tile and just put it in an array modifier and you get to see the result of your giant wall and the possibility of bigger spaces that can be made with these small assets. So it was quite a fun and fast process to creating larger spaces. After I had all the tiles created and textured, I just imported it all into Godot and started building out this little scene. So yeah, that's what I managed to get done this week. Sadly, I haven't had a lot of time to play with Godot recently because work has been getting crazy and I haven't got a lot of free days. But yeah, this was a fun project to take my mind off things and I hope you guys enjoy the assets that I supplied them below. Projects like these always make me want to commit to a giant game and start working on this space game I've been dreaming about for a long time. But I know I have a lot of learning to do still in Godot and game dev in general. So I'm not going to commit to anything yet, I'm just going to tinker around for a little bit, learn new techniques, teach people some stuff, and hopefully one day down the road I can get started on my giant spaceship. But for now, I'm sorry for the short video uh, and no tutorial this week. I'm hoping I can get some more days off soon so I can get back on top of some projects I want to do and show you guys some awesome new stuff. But for now, enjoy the rest of the time lapse and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!